Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Troy from Cichlid Bros. Thanks for watching. Hope you're staying safe and healthy out there. In today's video, we're gonna be walking through how we do water changes on each of our different aquariums, starting with the 75 gallon and the 38 gallon in my apartment. Then we're gonna show my brother's classroom aquariums. Then we're gonna show my other brother's 125 gallon predator half tank and how he changes water very fast. I hope you enjoy the video and let's dive right in. Okay guys, so as we walk through how we do water changes, you're gonna see a lot of this product here. This is the Python. Um, this is a time saver and really a must have for anyone with a tank above 10 gallons or so. Um, it just makes water changes so much easier. You don't have to deal with buckets, anything like that. Um, I'm also living on the second floor of my apartment with my landlord living directly below me. So I really can't afford to have any spills whatsoever. Water changes are very important for your aquarium's health and the balance, making sure your nitrates and other parameters are in check. We're going to walk through how we use this python across all of our different setups um, and sprinkle in some tips and tricks of how to use this properly. So I put the python in the 75 gallon tank, hit the switch on my power strip, and then take the hose to my bathroom sink. It's pretty far away so I bought the extended hose on Amazon which is about 50 feet long. I unscrew the end of the sink and screw in the adapter. Then you screw on your hose and make sure the end is set to drain and then you turn on the water. This will start a suction and drain your tank pretty fast. Also, as a side note, if you have dogs or cats, you may want to lock them out for a bit. My cat Rambo bit a hole through the hose during a water change once, which was not fun to clean up. As the water starts draining, this is a great time to scrub down your glass. The debris can be sucked up in the water change rather than just sinking to the substrate. This is also a good time to gravel vac, or if you have sand, hover over the top of the sand to pull up any waste. Usually the sand is heavy enough to fall back down. On all of our tanks we do a 40 to 50% water change every week. The amount of change can vary based on your individual setups. If you have a lot of plants you may not need to do as much or as often. Or if you have a heavy stocking, say an African cichlid tank, you may want to do even more frequent than once a week, or even more water volume. It's really about finding what works for you and testing your water often to keep your tanks in check. Every fish keeper needs a test kit and doing a gut check every few weeks is a great idea. So when it's time to fill the tank back up, I just turn the valve here and then I walk back to my bathroom and make sure the water is the right temp. You can use an actual thermometer if you want, but I usually do it by feel. When the temperature is right, just twist to fill and then turn the valve back on at the other end. I use Seachem Prime for dechlorinator, but there are many good brands out there. Just do not forget this step. I usually err on the side of more dosing than the bottle says, doing the amount for the full 75 gallons here. Also a huge tip here, never leave your python and forget about it. You don't want to dry up your tank or flood your house. Now you can sit back and relax as your tank fills. I do the same process in my 38 gallon tank next. I just bring the python over to the next room and set it up in the same way.
Hey guys, Alec here from Cichlid Bros, here with my 125 gallon Predator half tank. And today I'm just gonna go through and show you how I go about doing water changes. So first and foremost with me, when I upgraded to a 125 gallon tank, I knew I needed to make some upgrades when it came to water changes. And I got some add-ons that are also made by Python uh, to go along with that. From here, all I need to do is drop the pump in the tank. And now we wait. At this point, I will just detach the pump portion of the hose and attach the Python hook to refill the tank. And I will just take the hook and hang it over the tank. product that I cannot go without mentioning and it's one of the best products out there in the hobby and that is the Seachem Safe. It's the same thing as Prime but in powder form instead of liquid and being in powder form uh, it takes a lot less to condition a lot more water and therefore it goes a lot farther. It lasts a lot longer. If you have a big tank you gotta have it. Lastly, I did want to show you guys one more thing, and that's just how I store all these hoses. And that's a lot of hose in there. That's about 60 feet. And what I got here is a really thick hook, a lot of weight bearing on it that just fits perfectly into a stud. So little tips keep the wives happy. So you one last little treat for those of you that have watched the whole video. Um, got a little surprise sneak peek at a new tank build we got going that you'll see a lot more of in the near future. We have it all set up, all scaped out, and just waiting on the fish now, which should be coming in the next day or two. I'm really excited about this. Here's the sneak peek. Ooh, it's gonna be awesome, can't wait. Please hit that like or subscribe button, comment below, and we'd be happy to get back to you. See you next time.